Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a special Glen Moray here in our cask. Mm -hmm. It's quite a rare bottle. Yeah, it's our whiskey.de club bottle. So it's mm, unfortunately not for whiskey.com. Every year we do have a club bottling because we have a club where you can be a member and then you get percentages on our stuff in Germany only for German customers. Unfortunately, and we get exclusive bottles, so we kind of can really buy interesting bottles because we have so many club members, so we can buy such a bulk. And you commemorated the Glen Mori 15 year old 30% ABV as the bottling of the year 2017, right? Yes, uh, so of course, not of all bottles, but of the ones I tasted in 2017. Mm -hmm. And the 15-year-old Glenmorey was really outstanding, especially for the price it had, or it has today. And uh, so we looked at this really interesting bottle. It's uncolored, unchill filtered, this term, um, and uh, decided to have our own bottling of that because it was so outstanding. Uh, but the normal bottle you will typically find in the supermarkets, which I tasted in 2017, only has 40% ABV and mm -hmm. so it will be chill filtered. Mm -hmm. um, so this one is a more special bottle, um, but the content uh, should be from the same receipt, mm -hmm. but uh, bottled differently. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So it's a, yeah, it's a 40%, 46% uh, ABV mm -hmm. and it's a mixture between um, Bourbon casks and Oloroso sherry casks. Yeah. <laughs> you have this uh, special R in the Oloroso. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I always, uh, it's Oloroso, Oloroso. Yes, it's Oloroso. Oloroso is, a, is a, Spanish, a, a Spanish word. And it's also Oloroso. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> no, it's, it's Oloroso. <laughs> Oh, the, the, the Spanish also have that. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the Tosta Rossa is Italian, Italian. again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was a famous German football uh, soccer player who said, uh, uh, Madrid or my land, Milan, uh, don't care. I want to go to Italy. <laughs> <laughs> Madrid is in Spain. <laughs> From Germany, just, down, yeah. south. down south. Down <laughs> south. Southerners. <laughs> Mm. Wow, full, complex, and a lot mm. of vanilla and sherry, mm -hmm. fruitiness, no alcohol at all. It's very rounded, very intense, wonderful, pleasant nose. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely a... A very round one. It got that silky, smooth touch with uh, that one kind of a bit of a bourbon style in there with vanilla caramel combined with a bit of a fruitiness and heavy, heavy oak. Yeah, some kind of a a wood note. But it's not not that demanding. It's a, mm -hmm. a nice mixture between the the deep oloroso and the nice sweet bourbon so it's it's very fruity the sherry is dominant followed by this spicy mm. oaky note far in the back i think we will have more of that uh, after the first sip yeah mm -hmm. silky Smooth, a little sweet on the tip of my tongue, but as well as spicy, intensity, oakiness, and going over in an aftertaste with light chocolate, not too dark, between milk and dark chocolate, somewhere in between, uh, but not too long on the bitter side, just vanishing after a, a kick of oak. Mm. From the smell, I would have expected more of a a sweet style. It's a very nice balance between the the heavy oak and a bit of a spicy note, a bit of an intense note, and the the nice fruity color character from the Oloroso. So it's a it's a good balance. I would have expected yeah. more sweetness, 
but you oh, you also a, get a bit of a sweetness in the end. Yeah, and there is a, a caramel, a toffee note yeah. in it. But it's, I would say the the main character is a a nice, pleasant oak note. Together with a lot of sherry. Mm. Mm. So this is the fourth sip already on that bottle. And the the oak note is getting stronger. Mm. Yeah. So in the first, it's a lot more of uh, sherry and, and sweetness. And the more you had on your tongue, the more it turns over to oak. Yeah, mm. a really good and long matured whiskey from a distillery, Glenmorey, which is long underestimated. And after getting free from the Glenmorangie PLC, which uh, had Glenmorangie, Artbeck and Glenmorey under its roof, now it's in the hand of a French wine company and mm -hmm. they are able to deliver lots of wonderful casks for maturation. So uh, the distillery came out of from the ashes no not right from the supermarkets and now, <laughs> from the supermarket <laughs> the ashes. and now they're developing into better style and, and better quality yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah i really like it it's um it's a had a really long aftertaste mm -hmm. so mm, i really need to sip some water before we try the, the next, the next whiskey uh, mm. okay so thank you very much for watching if you found this video interesting then please feel free to share it with your friends and see you next time